physical properties of alkaline earth metals. As for physical appearance, when alkaline earth metals are polished, they acquire a metallic lustre or they become shiny. Although with time they lose the metallic lustre because of the exposure to air which contains oxygen. Again, just like alkal alkali metals, alkaline earth metals react with oxygen in air to form a metal oxide. The metal oxide forms a thin layer on top of the alkaline earth metal. And that is why before experiments, we have to polish alkaline earth metals to remove the thin oxide layer. Magnesium is hard to cut with a knife. Nonetheless, it is malleable and ductile, meaning it can be made into a wire. Calcium, on the other hand, is brittle and cannot be cut with a knife. As for the melting and boiling points, beryllium has a very high melting and boiling point compared to other alkaline earth metals. This is due to the very small atom of beryllium that has strong forces of attraction between atoms. As you will learn, the smaller the atom for metals, the stronger the forces of attraction. Now as you move down the group from beryllium to magnesium, calcium and the others, the melting and boiling points decrease. This is because the metal atoms are held together by forces of attraction between the positive nucleus and the delocalized electrons. Now as you move down the group, there is an increase in the atomic radius, which leads to a decrease in the attraction between the nucleus and the delocalized electrons. This is why the melting and boiling point decrease down the group. As for electrical conductivity, alkaline earth metals are good conductors of heat and electricity because they contain delocalized electrons. The first and second ionization energies of alkaline earth metals. The first ionization energy is the minimum amount of energy required to remove the first electron or one electron from the outermost energy level of an atom in gaseous state. Since alkaline earth metals have 
two electrons in their outermost energy levels. Therefore, they contain the first ionization energy and the second ionization energy. The first ionization energy is for the removal of one electron and the second is for the removal of the second electron from the outermost energy level in gaseous state. Let us start with magnesium. The first ionization energy of magnesium is lower than the second ionization energy of magnesium. Or we could say the second ionization energy of magnesium is higher than the first ionization energy. This is because once magnesium has lost the first electron from the outermost energy level, the overall positive charge that holds the remaining electrons is much higher. This means that removing the second electron requires more energy. The same applies to the other members of the alkaline earth metals.